Hello, Doomers, and welcome to the 49th map of junk food. Now, this, uh, I just want to say something before the run. This is a uh, post commentary for both maps because they both are extremely hard. This is the hardest episode yet of junk food. And also, this map has a very loud MIDI. So, I just want to say this beforehand. Uh, it's like Degrassi on steroids. So, let's go. All right, let's, let's just go. What I like to do is hard in these revenants right here and just absorb all the missiles that track you. I just absorb them and just hope to live. Now this room is kind of hard, but it is the easiest room of all four of this map. There's four, four fights in this map. And yeah, again, this freaking midi. It's so like... I don't know what the word for it is. Uh, just everywhere. Anyways, I gotta wait for this to come down. And now this room is the hardest fight of the map. This this fight right here turns true doomers into coomers right here. This this fight is something else. Um, basically, you just gotta wrap around these cyber demons and. Sometimes they'll push right up into you. In that case, I try to go back a little bit, but you know, sometimes you take a rocket to the face. You know, sometimes that happens. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's 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 go. So I don't want to push too far ahead because there is a huge horde of arch files that I do not want to wake up yet. And I also like to stick behind this wall once I get most of Cyber Demons dead because the Mancubus will fire at you continuously. And they'll do damage. So now's a good time to kill them. And I just want to kill these Mancubus because uh, I was at low HP. But there's the Archfile Horde. So it really isn't any issue if all the Cyberdemons are woken up. I never died to this Horde like this. Like the f main fight of this is over. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really hard to think with this freaking MIDI. Uh, but anyways, here's the secret area. So you want to go around this and you grab the invuln. Now this area is ridiculous. Uh, this area is so drawn out. I'm not really a big fan of it, but basically there's like 200 arch files right there. And there is a bunch of cyber demons that you gotta kill. Uh, well, three sides of them. I do this side first. Because I pretty much just always get launched here. And they're hiding a mega sphere. I was able to save this one though. But. The amount of invulns you're given for this fight is really not enough. It is like just the right amount for you to have a chance of beating it. So, uh, because the arch files just fling you away. They're very hard to kill. But right now I'm just trying to get them to fling me up so I can get the next cyber nest. And that was close enough, you know. And here it is. And also, this floor right up here is damaging, which is, makes it very tough. Now, when I get the invuln and get fling, flung over to this nest. And <laughs> that was a perfect archfall zap. It brought me right to it. It's usually not that smooth. But this map took me around like 400 attempts. It is a tough one. Most of most or almost all of the deaths were in the first two fights. But I did have a lot late game. 
And this fight, you practically have to play it out through the whole thing to know if you're going to live or not. You know, you're never really going to know if you're catch up with the arch files but now we got all these uh invulns left and i basically just like try to count 30 seconds in my head to know when to pick up the next invuln because invulns last 30 seconds but when you're doing this fight they feel like they last for like 15 and yes this is very hard to control What I like to do is I like to go on the sides here, bring them all to one of the uh, sides, and uh, you can use the corners of the wall to help like not get lifted off. I try to do it here, but there's too many. You'll see what I mean in other parts. But yeah, for reference, we need 333 kills to leave this area, so we still got 100. And 30 alive. So, uh, luckily there's an invuln right there. So, this is what I mean. You can leverage this corner to try to hide behind and kill Archfiles when they come out. Uh, it's very tough to do though. And see, I still ended up getting overwhelmed. And I grab this megasphere, because why not? So at this point, I know I don't have... Or I believe I just have two megaspheres at this point. Or invulns. Again, leveraging the side so I don't get flung into space. Which worked out really well here. Or at least for the beginning. So, now this was very, very close this time. Sometimes you get it easily, sometimes not. Most of the time you don't. But I had around 90 arch files left and one invul. That was the last invul. So, yeah, it was very unlike. I thought I was going to die, to be honest, this run. Because look at that. And I got flung across the map again. So what I do here is I bring them all the way and then I actually leverage this wall and there's 30 left, and I have no invuln. This was a crazy save right here, I'm not even gonna lie. Look how much arch files. And that arch file did not help. But somehow I ended up killing all of them. And now for the final fight. So the right side is a bunch of cyber demon, and you do not want them to get, uh, uh, like, to the other side to block you. Because that's the biggest uh, thing to happen. Is then block you just like this. But somehow I did not get hit there. That was incredibly lucky. And yeah, just like that. They just block you. And that is the biggest threat in this final fight. And it happens a lot. And these arch files are guarding all the ammo. So you want to kill them pretty quick. But after the be like first two uh, swings around, you can see it opens up a lot. And I was at really good health here. And at this point, I knew I had a really high chance of winning, as long as I didn't fumble. But... Yeah, there's still a lot of cyber demons, and one could just walk in the wrong spot and get you killed. got a bunch of eyes there they don't do anything but there's revenants in there which are good for infighting matter of fact I don't even remember killing a single revenant here the 
sure is a lot of them. safe, you know, I'm not trying to lose the run. I've already spent way too much time on this map. More than I'd like to admit. That is the last kill. So let's get out of here. And there it is. Rolls left behind. Done in 10 minutes and 55 seconds. And map by Cassis. And man, what a ridiculous map. Very tough. And this next map is also very tough. So enjoy. <laughs> All right, map 50. And man, this is a tough map. As you can see, we got three Cyber Demons here, and you're only given enough ammo to two-shot each of them. So, this room is very hard. But luckily, it's right in the beginning of the map. And here's another fight. This one is also... Every fight in this map is hard. Uh, so, what I do is try to line up some BFGs, and then kill these Arch Files. Now you have to do as much damage as you can to these arch files because if not, you're going to be pretty screwed. And you got to grab mega spheres when you can. So, as you can see, I use my last mega sphere right now. That's close to these arch files, so I'm just trying to get as much damage in as I can. And just trying to kill those cacos so I have some room. And now from here, I have some arch files left. However, it isn't that many, so I can kind of deal with it. But I try to rush in real quick to kill the rest, which luckily works. But sometimes you'll have an arch file left or not. But anyways, uh, we got a bunch of cyber demons now. And to be honest, this isn't really hard as like the first cyber demon wave, especially because you have unlimited ammo. But you know, you still can die here. And there's a bunch of Megaspheres around. But you want to keep the Megaspheres close to the uh, ending. But, oh man, 17 HP. Yeah, that was, I was lucky to survive that. Ooh. Yeah, definitely still tough. Alright, and this is final part is also very hard. The last enemies, 71, are arch files, and you're given practically no cover to kill them. So what I do in the beginning is I try to peekaboo uh, peek them so they stop running at me. Give me some time. And uh, if I can, I don't think I was able to in this demo. I try to run up and like two, two BFGs at once when I look in. Kind of like that, but like... They were already all out. And I actually get overwhelmed here. So I end up falling back. Which sometimes works. Uh, yeah, at that point, I, I gave up on it. But I've damaged a lot of the arch files already. If you just let out all 70 at this point, uh, you're probably going to die. Unless you have a lot of mega spheres left uh, on the back side. Which usually isn't the case. So yeah. Uh, now we're just trying to kill the rest. And yeah, that archfile trap is very vicious. 
I died a lot there. But, yeah, this was the run. And yeah, very hard map. Very hard. So there it is. Gobstopper, done in 3 minutes and 24 seconds. And map by A15. Man, that is a tough one. Uh, took me a few tries. The beginning and the ending and the middle are just all tough. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Demo will be in the description, and thank you guys for watching.